Welcome. Happy New Year to all you Geminis. I am wishing you a wonderful and a prosperous New Year for the year 2017. I want to say thank you for the likes and the shares and the support that you have done in the year of 2016. And I'm hoping that you will stay with me in the year 2017 because it's going to be a wonderful year for you guys because it's the energy the year is the number one energy and it is the, the year of the magician the magician is an air energy so it's going to be wonderful thank you for liking sharing and supporting my channel and for um, thumbs up and please help us um, to, uh, by supporting our channel by thumbs up in and um, sharing these videos in the year of 2017. I want to say thank you for all the support you Gemini have done in the year 2016. Thank you for being here and helping this channel to grow. The year 2017 for you guys is going to be wonderful. It's a year of the hair element. You're also an air element. So these, this year for you guys is going to be just so fantastic, so wonderful. As we look at your element, you're an air and this is the year as sign. As we look at the, the quality, you're a mutuable person, a mutuable sign. So, And the color you guys like is green and yellow. Some of you, not all of of you guys will resonate but green and yellow is always the energy of the Gemini traits okay these are all your traits your best day is going to be Wednesday um, your ruling planet is going to be Mercury and it has always been Mercury and um, you know you're compatible with the Librans and the Aquarians people because they're also an e a air people okay that's who you're compatible with your best partner to marry to is a Sagittarians okay so your best partner you know if you want to have a, a, a good uh, marriage the best person to marry to is a Sagittarian as we look at um, your numbers for this year your lucky numbers is going to be 3 8 12 and 23 okay as we look further and look at the date, your energy vibration, your zodiac begins from the 21st of May until the 20th of June. Okay, so don't forget because that will be the time of your zodiac birthdays. Your strength, you're very gentle and affectionate. You are adaptability um, your ability to learn things is extremely quickly and you exchange good ideas okay um, your weakness is nervousness inconsistency and indecisiveness this you know you guys need to work on these in this year okay you you guys lo love music the things you like is music you like magazine you like to read you you know not all of you like to talk sometimes it depends on if the person is intelligent you like to do short trips you're someone who likes to travel and walk around a new town learn a new place and your dislike is being alone you really do not like being alone you um hear people and being confined at night. So, you know, you guys need to um, really balance this. You don't like to be alone, but you don't like to be confined. So, you know, there you need to bring a balance in that. You're a repetition. You're a routine person. And it's not really nice to be a routine person because you lose who you are as a spiritual being. So you need to bring balance in that. Okay, what is your overall energy for the year 2017? Your overall energy for the year 2017 is the sun. So this is just wonderful. The sun comes out, which is the source of all things. And it is a corporation. You're going to work with group of people. And you're going to bring um, new energy and vibration to these people and new partnerships. So, you know, this year of 2017 is going to be a time of cooperation, cooperation, working with other groups of people, which is just going to be wonderful for you guys. This is fantastic. As we look at the first month, we have the energy of justice. And this is good because this energy is the element of hair. And it is also um, the element 
of uh, balancing the scale. Um, it's linked with the zodiac sign of Libra. And this is for each and every person. It's going to affect the masculine and feminine principle of each and every person here. So this is wonderful. It's also associated with balance and meditation. And this is bringing justice to everything that has been unbalanced. Okay. The veils of illusions and misdirected and the self deceitfulness have been needs to cut away in this year. And it's going to be cut away in January. Justice insists simplicity, clarity, balance, and honesty. So this is things that you're going to work on in the month of January. You're going to see yourself looking at yourself honestly and then accepting the truth of what and who you are as a person and what you need to change. So this is just going to be wonderful. You're going to um, find um, the energy of integrity and balance your spirit with that, which is just so um, wonderful, okay? As we look at February, we have the energy in February as rebirth. And this is wonderful. The energy of rebirth in February, it is a, a transformation. Okay. So you're going to rebirth. You're, you have balanced a lot of stuff in January. And in February, you have the energy of rebirth. So you're going to rebirth yourself. And this is linked with the zodiac, um, the zodiac energy of water. Okay. So by rebuilding yourself, it's, 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 it's with the zodiac energy of water and this is good because it's going to affect your masculine and feminine side and you're going to connect with yourself as a person it's going to associate associated with letting go and releasing and detaching from things aspect things that no longer serve you and this is very good because what is going to happen for you is that the longer that you release yourself and look the transformation of yourself, the transformation of the ego to um, being just working out from the energy of love is just going to be powerful, extremely powerful for you guys. And this is going to in indicate a lot of changes in your life and in yourself as a person. So, you know, February is a wonderful month of rebirth. And this is just going to help you to transform who you are as a person. As we look at March, we have the energy of the chariot and the energy of the chariot is the energy of the 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 fire energy and it's linked with the energy of of, of water cancers the cancer so in the month of March, you're going to work with a lot of cancer people and you guys are going to bring balance to situation that has been happening and this is good because it's associated with changing activities so uh, for some people in March, you could be ending a relationship with a cancer person, okay? This is so prominent. You could be really ending relationships with a, a, a cancer person. And this is good because um, you have looked at yourself, you try to balance things and look at the true situation. And then in February, you think you're going to have a rebirth. And in March, you decide that you'll be letting go of something in your life, and, you know, the chariot is brings victory, triumphant and success and self-confidence. It is also very important for each and every person to have that achievement in your life. And this is going to be wonderful because the chariot energy is going to lend you its inner strength to, to make chin things change and take actions in your life to release things that no longer serve you. So this is just going to be wonderful. As we look at the first um, quarter of the year, it's going to be a time where transforming, you're transforming because in January you have justice and in um, and in, in, in February, you have rebirth. So there was a lot of stuff that you saw over the holiday that you were trying to change and you begin the year of looking at things honestly for yourself. And this is very, very good. As we move on and we look at the second um, quarter of the year, which is April until June, in April, we have the energies of the eon and the energies of the eon is the energy of judgment. Okay, so 
what is happening with the, the energy of the eon it's a water energy and it's linked with the planet of pluto so you will be working with the planet of pluto this is going to affect your masculine and also the feminine side of who you are as a beam on this planet it's association with common sense the ability to understand and to forgive okay the ability to understand and to forgive you need to start learning to understand and forgive okay forgiveness is going to be the key you are going to re um um, represent yourself in a total different fashion. Um, it, it's a union of your masculine and feminine self, but also your higher self connecting with who you are as a spiritual being. Okay. So, you know, this is good because you have seen certain aspects and certain things around you and certain patterns. And this is what you're doing. It's like you're, 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 T tearing down what no longer serve you which is just fantastic and powerful for you guys so this is good um you know holding on and changing things letting go of the past and and looking at a better future and planning a better future so this is good for the month of april as we look at may the star comes out which is a wonderful energy it is your own energy vibration in may this is powerful. The star brings, you know, is connected with the um, the Aquarians, which is the sister sign of you guys. And a lot of Aquarian people are really going to come in and like help you to manifest all of your um, abundance and prosperity in your life, which is just so wonderful. This is for everyone, the masculine and the feminine side of you and for everyone who um, is grounded under the sign of the Gemini's. Okay. It's associated with self-confidence. A lot of you are going to find self-confidence in the month of May, and you're going to be recognized. Um, and, and, and some people will be recognized for something that they have done. Okay. So this is going to be good. Some people are going to find self-confidence and some people are going to be really recognized, um, to something that they have done in your life. So this is just wonderful. After the storm, there comes the calm and the pass of the darkness and there come light. So this is, is just fantastic and it's wonderful. The star card engage us uh, to have open optimism, faith in divine intuition and to trust our inner guidance so this is just strong powerful wonderful things and i'm loving this for you guys in the month of may because the month of may begins your zodiac energy vibration for your birthday so this is just so powerful for you guys and um for you um gemini's as i look at this the aquarians in may is really really going to bring you and help you to bring magic to your life which is just so wonderful as we look at June, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Congratulations, people. Congratulations. So, you know, uh, uh, you know, this is wonderful. I'm loving this because for you, Gemini's, May and June is going to be just so powerful. You know, the second quarter of the year, it's just going to be so powerful because you have the energy of the Wheel of Fortune coming in. And the Wheel of Fortune is working with the planet of Jupiter. So that is going to bring you a lot of success, abundance, and a lot of riches. And a lot of new things are coming in your life. It's associated with the chance, destiny, um, abundance, success, you're going to be recognized, uh, some of you, and some of you who are having business is going to be, it's just going to explode, okay, in June. So this is wonderful. It re represents continuing a cycle of life, uh, um, but in um, a more normal, material way without the ego. So this is just wonderful and fantastic. It is a time for it indicating external circumstances in your life life, which you have moved away from and which you have transformed in a better um, sense of energy vibration coming into you guys. So this is powerful and it is wonderful for you guys. As I look at the second quarter from April until June, it's just going to be one of those wonderful, powerful time in your life where all the uh, all your wishes and dreams are going to come through and things are just, just starting to blow up and work out and this is just going to be good and powerful okay we're moving on to the energies of um july 
which is the third quarter, um, July, uh, August, and September. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. In July, we have the energy of um, the uh, magician. And this is wonderful. And why is this so wonderful? Because the energy of the magician is your energy vibration. And this is really good for you, um, um, Gemini's, because you'll be working with your own hair element in the month of July. And um, you'll be working also with the planet of Mercury. Okay, Mercury is turning um actually um metal in 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 gold and this is wonderful because you be transforming yourself but also transforming things around you which is just so wonderful this is going to affect the masculine um um, side of you guys okay this is more um a masculine a strong passionate power coming out you be associating with communication and timing which is just so wonderful this is just extremely powerful how where it, it, it is going to bring you awareness when you release your ego that doesn't create uh, all these illusions around you you're going to have really the energy of the magician and its wands. And, you know, the magician, what you're going to do is also help yourself to bring magic in your world. But you're also going to have the intu intuition, insight uh, and aspect of communicating to the universe, communicating to your angels and guides and bringing that which you would like to be, um, have in your life. And this is really wonderful, especially for all the... Um, philosophers out there it's a wonderful time your materialistic your financial um um, situation is just going to boom um, if you are open to spirituality that is just going to go to a higher energy it's like everything that you have always wanted that the universe has in your blueprint it's just going to be wonderful and powerful it's just going to come in wonderful energies in july as we look at august we have the energy of the devil whenever the energy of the devil comes in what is happening here is that um what is happening is that um you're transforming and letting go of things that no longer serve you the devil energy is the energy of a fire energy you have to deal with the fire people but it has an influence on the feminine side of you as a person and it's going to association with pleasure and gratitude and, and 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 being grateful of things uh, uh, around you with you um gratitude um for a lot of stuff around you it's going to bring the energy of cupid also the lover's energy which is the feminine side of you the venus side of you the side that the love flows so this is wonderful for august even though the devil energy is here it's going to bring out that as we look at September, we have the energy of the Empress. And the energy of the Empress is wonderful because the Empress is an earth energy vibration. It's the first hurt that you have had. And she is going to help bring in that loving wisdom and that motherly um, feeling for you, for your soul, to nurture your soul, but also to nurture your, um, your um, financial abundancy and prosperity, okay? And it's more, it's going to work on more of the feminine aspect of yourself. So the month of August and September is going to, it's more on the feminine aspect of yourself. Everyone has a masculine and a feminine aspect of yourself. And that it's the Empress coming in and she is going to bring allness to you and let you realize that everything that you want is going to come into you. This third quarter is just powerful. It's a wonderful time because you have um, three elements that is just going to ground you. And that's the air energy and the, um, the energy of uh, the fire energy and the energy of earth. And this is just wonderful. So September, you're going to be just powerfully grounded. You're going to feel yourself. As we look at October, October, we have the energy of the fool. And the energy of the fool um, is the energy 
of an, an, an air energy, but you'll be working with the planetary system of Uranus. So Mars, Mercury and Uranus, because you're, gro you're governed or Mercury and you'll be working with the planet of Uranus. So this is going to affect the masculine side of who you are. And this is associated with the principles of courage and ecstasy without fear. So you're just going to feel that extra ecstasy without fear because you have transformed fear and the ego and you're, you have let them go in the beginning, the first three months in the beginning of the year. So this is just going to be fantastic. You're going to be acting impulsive, but also encouraging um, to take risk and develop your feminine and masculine side of yourself to become an whole um, beam. So this is just going to be wonderful. And you're going to have um, a more healthy intuition, feelings of being um, healed. So this is just powerful for you guys. In November, you have the energy vibration of another fire energy, which is wonderful. This is just good, good, good energies for you guys. Um, the emperor is going to come in and he's going to be linked with another fire energy. So here we are, I go, I go again with another fire energy. And you're going to be working with a lot of Aries and Leo people. And by working with all these Aries and Leo people, you're going to realize that it's going to affect you on a personal level because it's going to awaken your your personal power, but yet still your leadership qualities, which is just so fantastic. This is just so good for you guys. And November is just going to be extremely powerful. And you're going to be able to handle all these rules, structures, social laws, and natural rational thinking, which is good because then what is going to happen is that you'll be more adventurous to the side of love because and loving in a healthy way. So this is just going to be powerful and wonderful for you guys. You guys are going to want to um, be more of a leader, um, be more adventurous for some of you, be more investigating in things, uh, you know, and have a leadership qualities, but yes, still shielding yourself and, um, and dealing with all um, challenging things in a leadership role. So this is just going to be wonderful and powerful for you guys. As we look at the last and final month of the year, we have the month of December and we have temperance. And this is just so wonderful. This is the second um, um, earth energies for you guys. And when temperance comes up, you, you are linked with the zodiac sign of Virgo. And this is just wonderful and powerful. It is also, it has also, you're going to work with a lot of Virgo people, but yet still Sagittarius people. And these are going to help you because I've seen this come um, at a few months earlier on in the year that you guys are going to work with this. And this is just so wonderful because these two um, different zodiac sign people are going to help you um, to heal the feminine side of you as a person. So this is just going to be creative, fantastic, but yet still, it's going to transform your soul. And it's going to, you know, look at this year as balancing your masculine and feminine side to become an old, okay? Because some, some of the times we have the masculine and feminine out of balance, and then we cannot be the through through soul that we are as a person. So December is just going to be a wonderful um, month ending the year for you guys, because it's going to bring in so many powerful energies. The whole year, as you look at the old year, it's just fantastic. The first three months for you guys is just so powerful because you had justice, rebirth, and the chariot, victory, success, and triumphant, which is so good and powerful in the first quarter of the year, which is January until um, uh, March. Your, you know, um, April, May, and June, you had the, the, the transformation of the eons, the star, you had your wishes and dreams coming in and the wheel of fortune bringing it. So this, you know, this was just so wonderful in from April until June. It's just going to be a powerful time for you guys to manifest things in your life. 
as we look at um, July, August, and September, you had the magician uh, along with the devil and the empress, which this is just powerful because you have a hair fire, uh, hair fire, and an earth and elements that are all grounding you and bringing that which you have transformed in the first part of the year, which is just coming to and full float of balancing. As we look at the last three months, October, November, and December, this is just so wonderful. You had so many hair energies in, um, in this year. And the full energies, you had the full energies, but yet still you had the magician. And you have the full, another fire element and another earth element. This is just so fantastic. It's like you'll be working with so many fire and earth people in this year, which is going to help you to balance your person, personal um, um, self, your... and also balancing your masculine and feminine energies, which is just, this is just so wonderful to become one. So this is just powerful for you guys. And I'm loving the energies in this year for you guys. And I'm hoping and wishing you guys that you use this year because this year, you're not going to have another year like this for another five years. So use the energies in this year to manifest everything that you would like. And I'm wishing you really a wonderful year because this is just so powerful. Remember, you'll be working with a lot of fire and hurt energy element people in this year. As we move on and we look at the business section of your year and we have here from the law of the law of um, abundancy of the law of abundancy for the business area of your life. So whether you're you're a business person or you work, it says no doubt, no doubt. And it says I will um, eventually achieve success because I don't allow myself to have doubt. And this is good. This is good. This is wonderful. This is powerful because when we realize that we um, are going to let go of the ego and the fear and you are not going to have any more doubt in your lives anymore. And this is wonderful. So, you know, for the business people and um, the people who are working and for everyone, just about everyone, um, this is going to affect you. No doubt. I will eventually achieve success because I don't allow myself to have any doubt. And this is wonderful for you guys because you guys should not have doubt because you're one of the most intelligent person in um, the whole um, zodiac sign. So use that to, to further yourself forward. Okay. Okay. As we move on and we look at the message from your soul, what is the soul message for you guys? It is going to be a purpose. I know what I am here to do. And this is good. This is good. This is good. Because whenever we know who we are and our purpose in life, this is just so wonderful because what is going to happen is that our purpose is just going to be wonderful. And it's going to also show you, you know, you have um, chosen um, to reincarnate on the hurt, okay, for one major goal, to express love in all you do. The obstacles of this physical dimensions can distract you from the goals and it is easily let you be lost, Okay, so life on hurt is full of obligations that require your conscious attention, but that doesn't mean you cannot infuse all of the decisions with care and compassion. Your purpose in life is not your career. Rather, your career is guide, guided by your purpose. So this is wonderful. This is wonderful. So again, your purpose in life is not your career. Rather, your career is guided by your purpose. 
What activities speak to you and your soul? You should realize, you should really write these things down. And, you know, that is what is going to direct you to find your true soul calling, okay? When you, when you know what activity really makes your soul, um, you know, you, you feel so happy. If you are not happy with your current situation, then that is your soul telling you that there is a better way to manifest your own destiny and gifts. Listen to your intuition. It is your connection to spirit and the voices of your soul. This is so beautiful. This is wonderful for you guys. This is extremely wonderful for you, Geminis, because you need to learn self-love also in this time. Okay, as we move on to your heart chakra, the heart energy, remember to heal your heart chakra. And the message from the romance angels, it is heart to heart conversation. This is just so wonderful. And, you know, when the energy of the heart to heart conversation comes up, it is Honestly, discussing your feeling with your partners or others. It doesn't have to be your partner in relationship, but it has to be the person who you're communicating with, you know? So if you honestly tell that person exactly what you're feeling at that moment, you know, because your love or what you have to say as a person needs a healthy infusion of honest communication, okay? So some people will have a situation with relationships that you're not um, honestly communicating with your partner. And, you know, according to the romance angels, you guys really need to gather all the emotions and your feelings and let people know. So it can be your, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, um, your best friend, you know, maybe they've said something. So this, uh, this um, love energy, heart connection conversation is for each and every person out there, whether you're in a relationship or not in a relationship, it has to do with and heart to art communication with yourself. It can also with yourself. It's as if you're wondering, why is it I am not having a relationship? And you need to really communicate very well with yourself and to see what is the problem that you're blocking yourself from having a healthy relationship. Or for the people who are in on, on a healthy relationship, why are you not being honest to yourself in that relationship and honest to the other person? So there is a lot of aspect. And for the business people, this has to do with honesty in uh, working with someone else and working in a business partner. So each and every person will be affected with this romance card of heart to heart conversation on that you guys need to really be honest in the communicating with others. And um, by doing that, you will see the energy vibration, how it changes uh, situation in your life and you will feel much better. So the romance angel is just... Um, and, and, and sort of a way of all these angels and deities and beams coming in to tell you what you need to work on in this year. Your last and final card, it is a blossom and blossom is what you guys are going to do because you guys are going to change yourself, let go of things that no longer, you guys are going to find who you are as a true spiritual being. You are going to start to blow out and, and be like a flowers. You're going to start to open up and connect to who to your soul to your soul you're going to let yourself go and connect at a deep level with yourself and connect to your soul to that true spark of who you are and this is wonderful and for you gemini's you're affirmation for this year it's going to be i awaken to the beauty of my relationships that nurture me okay so again your affirmation is going to be i awaken to the beauty of your relationships 
that nurtures me. So this is going to be all relationships in your life, um, relationship with your family, relationship with your friends, relationship with your business partner, relationship with a study group. So, you know, all my readings is directed to everyone. So it affects you in different ways. But for the year um, 2017 for you guys, which is one of the, is going to be one of the best year in a very long time, because last year you guys went through a year of water, which was emotion, transformation. Some of you guys work with the lovers, the arcanas, the lovers arcana. So you found yourself in, in that year. And this is the end of uh, the karmatic situation in people's lives. And what is going to happen is that you are going to start to blossom in the year 2018. This year, is you're going to teach yourself to start becoming that beautiful flowers that you are as a true person and a soul person and you are just going to spread your wings and you're going to just open your heart and you're just going to bloom in the year 2017 and I'm wishing you guys really a wonderful year because it's you're vibrating in your own um, energy vibration. I want to say if you'd like to have a personal reading, um, the personal readings are um, going on until the 31st of March. So you can always uh, um, connect with us and uh, it's still the same price. This hasn't been changed. Okay, I want to say congratulations, you guys. This is going to be a wonderful, powerful year for you guys. And connect with people around you. And don't forget, love is the only thing that is real. And I want to say namaste and until the year 2018.